good kitten internet. Internet? I, I did say internet, right? Hey, Clint. Sup? So, uh, where we last left off, we just jumped into a warp gate in space time, so who knows what's going on? And there's no save in between, so let's go. Ugh. Oh, he looks familiar, doesn't he? Oh, get off, traitors! You're surrounded! Told you'd be coming back. Zookaggy. Zookaggy, slime bag. You may work for the Empire now, but you're still just a petty thief. The Empire has hired criminals to swell the ranks of the army. Now these scoundrels steal from the innocent under the protection of the Empire. It is a sad sight to behold. And I was foolish enough to trust Dolph. That's right, Clive has combats. Like, appearance and so on. Uh, don't blame yourself for it. We all fell for it. Yeah, what's the delay? The villagers here in this area are all rebel sympathizers anyway. Torch it. We'll burn these villages to the ground. Ugh, curse you. But their forces are simply overwhelming. Oh, well, with that, they'd probably kill us even if we surrendered, so... I say we go out fighting. Don't stand a chance. But let's take as many of them with us as we can. Oh, by the way, hi. Uh, where are we? Oh, uh, like you, we just made it back. Can't believe it, it's Ash. Kids be. Is it really you? Is it really you? Forgot he has a British accent. Clive, my friend! Diego! What the? Where did you come from? <laughs> now we can turn things around. Ash, they're Hell's Boys. Let's show them the old crunch play. I think that's a translation thing because they're referencing American football, I think. Key phrases, I think. I'm terrible at sports. So. This is a relatively traditional battle, but we have way different enemies than what we're used to. One moment. Sorry, we saved a message. Um, so let's go ahead and check out our enemies, along with our allies. So we have Blood Bats. They're basically just standard flying in it. Grenadiers. These are Empire Grenadiers, specifically. They are ranged units with a very long range. Um, they are promoted archers, basically, and they have the range to match. We have Centurions, Empire Centurions, that is. Ah, so when I saw the pixel art for this when I was a kid, I always thought they looked more like bugs. It does look like there's a nose that you can kind of see underneath a mask. Anyway, they're sort of type. We have Empire Deacons. We have our first healers. Well, technically, the uh, stone statues were healers, but they didn't actually have a healing spell. Um, they have healing. We also have our Empire Mage. Empire Mage has Rainbow Stroke. Rainbow Stroke is the same thing as... Um, what should we call it? Um, Zohar and uh, Elanai's Piercing Ray, for reference. On the other side, we have our party, who are level 13 through 15, because we've leveled up and they haven't. And we are, what, 16? 16, 16, 16, and 16, yeah. So they're going to be leveling up quite a bit. But we also have Clive, whose class is NPC. So this is Clive. This is our first time that we have an NPC with us. He is not a member of our party. We didn't see the little thing that blah blah joins the party. Admittedly, this was the same situation Kira was in before. So just keep that in mind. So Clive is a standard sword. 580. 7580. Admittedly, Grog is one level higher, but he's basically a weaker version of Grog. 
Also has no items. No items at all. Alright. So, we have a few objectives this battle. Um, first off, there's loot on the battlefield. Uh, specifically, there's the two chests. The two chests have things that we'll be able to buy eventually. Maybe not right now, but we will eventually be able to buy them. So, I'm not too concerned about that. Um... However, the hidden items are different. So we've got... Oh yeah, I forgot to show Zootgog, who's now a Thief Lord. And he has the ability to heal himself. Um, twice, specifically. Uh, it, it, he's a sword. Nothing special about it. Um, let's change our zoom, as usual. Into a more overheadish view. That is one of the items. That item right there is... Actually, that might not be... Anyway, there's an item on here that is required for us to grab. It's listed as being in the southeast corner, though in the southeast corner. Hmm. That's an item also. That's the other one I'm thinking. I'm assuming that... Um... Yeah. I've got nothing. Anyway, we need to pick up items. It's the unicorn head. Oh, I'm on the wrong listing, that's why. Okay, that makes more sense. So there's a unicorn head and there's a gold coin here. Can you even reach? No. Drat. If I had one more range, I'd be able to reach with Roman Fire. Roman Fire is a really nice area in my mind. I mean, I could do a Fizz Shift and that might even hit. It would, but that's a waste. So, I'm actually going to move back to where I was. down there. Yeah, you can spell cast away. I'm going to be a little conservative this round. Admittedly, this party is much stronger than the other party. That currently hits nobody, so there's no reason to use it. I don't care. Oh, I don't have control over Clive. Forgot to mention that part. Might as well try to get things, if we can. I'm going to be able to reach from here, actually. Ah, I'm one tile off. They did it intentionally. I need to get to here, but that's not going to happen. How close are you going to be next turn? Okay, you won't be in melee range. So yeah, I won't be controlling Clive, which also means that I'm not going to worry about eating a penalty for Clive dying. I'm not going to count that. Having said that, I could probably pull this off without. Anybody else? Nope. Enemy turn. I was pretty sure they wouldn't be able to reach, and then my phase shift next turn will be so much better. Uh, I think the bat can reach. 
Yeah, I know. It, oh, you're going after Sarah. Okay. It's not that big of a deal. I knew the Grenadiers would be able to reach. There's nothing I can do about that. Going after Grog. That's fine. Yeah, you're knocked down enough where a phase shift is going to take you out for sure. They're not moving. Not too surprising. Clive gets to go after all of the enemies. It's a weird situation, but sure. Um, this is actually going to be a problem. All of that for a mega herb. Oh, high herb. Different translation. Anyway, you die now. I would have realized everybody else was running the other direction. I could have done so too. You're closer, so you're probably going to get attacked. Um, I'm not actually going to do this, but... I kind of want to. Going where Ash is at would actually only eliminate one of those, but... Let's try this. All right. By the way, how are you doing today? I didn't get a chance to ask. Now, this was recorded immediately after the previous video. <sighs> phase shift. Warning, phase shift. I'm going to give the verbal warnings at least as long as I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't do as much damage as it used to. That's the problem. But it is enough to take out that... I think this still makes sense. I think I can take out the Centurion? Or not. fire, I guess. Ooh. That looks fancier than the PlayStation version. I don't know if that was the right play. I may end up having to reload from that turn, but we'll find out, because now Grog's going to get piled. And there's a lot of units that can attack Grog. He has a lot of HP, but not that much. Okay, good, the Flyer can't reach. That's one important thing. I know he can reach. You're dead. Another Grenadier can reach. I think Grog's dead. I think the Centurions are doing 32. Oh, there's two Centurions that can reach. Never mind, Grog's definitely dead. Yep, yeah, that wasn't the right move. Oh, yeah. Bad move. Now you get to see Rainbow Stroke. Oh, it isn't actually that one. Okay. Ah, oh, got me. Time to retreat. I'll reload. So, at this point, it's kind of irrelevant, and you're going to heal because healers. Five moves back, and it's relevant. Because I am loading. Back of Ram, internal. In battle save. Fast forward. I don't have a kitty over to my left at the moment. I'm actually... Not sure where Boo is sleeping. Probably nearby my housemate. Okay. New plan. Let's rolling fire first. Oh, I can't hit the. I have to move up to do that. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but this should still be adequate. That should take out two of them.
far down are you? 42? I should be able to take that out. Or even better, paralyze. Let's do some science here. Wish I can use save states, but that's not reliable with this emulator. Um, okay. Roman fire is almost certainly enough to kill it. Only hit two with Roman fire. Oh, let's see how much damage Roman fire does. You also get this chance to see the new spell. <laughs> Roman Fire does 44 to the Grenadier. And 42 to the enemy. They only had 42 hit points, so it's probably 44 damage. Plus 6 MP for reference. Loading, 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 loading. At least with fast forward, load times aren't that bad. All right. Instead of that, Piercing Ray. Thirty two damage. Piercing Ray's thirty two. It's probably forty four for Roman Fire. Move. And Dark Star. Other than the horrible slowdown from Dark Star, I'm betting it probably does the same as Piercing Ray. 30. It did not. It's slightly less. All right. So. In that case, I think the best move is to actually Spellbind which should paralyze the target, and by being paralyzed, it's blocking Ash from being attacked. Also much more MP efficient, because I want to try to concentrate everybody nearby so I can hit them with bigger spells. That just helps me, because now Grog's the choke point and I can heal Grog. Keeping Sarah back, because I can. There we go. And that's everybody. Yep, they're coming upstairs now instead of going down there, because choke point. Wish they would get closer, but alas, they probably won't. The Grenadiers will. Yeah, because the Grenadiers are going after Grog. Which is fine, because I have a healer back there, and Grog won't go down from this. And those four Goobers will just stay around. Five will move up, and okay. You get to see Clive attack. I like his attack animation, but he is weak against flying, but it's fine. Alright, first thing we're doing is saving. This is the internal ram battle save. You're 13, yeah, you need the XP more than anyone else, that should be death. They can still walk around on this side. Wait, what is the range of Blessed Weapon, anyway? Eh. 
just shield yourself. You're going to be hit by a Grenadier. It's almost certain. One Grenadier is not going to be that big of a deal against Hux, though. So we're fine. Oh, yeah. Um, Diego, you're kind of not useful this battle at the moment. So I'm going to actually have you move down. All right. Moving over to here. Grog's hurt bad. Zohar. How much can you roam in fire? I moved like that. I wouldn't hit the two in front of me. That's the downside. But the upside is that I would hit those three with it. I mean, this is the obvious part. I'm not going to do anything else. Ooh, that was not good healing. Good piercing ray, these two goobers. It'll definitely kill the one in front of Grog. I can move the two of them back, I guess? Uh, this is not good. I was expecting to heal more than that. Um, I know piercing ray is not going to kill the paralyzed one, but that's fine. It might just be Roman fire to kill them both. It'd be really nice if I was hitting those three up there. That's what I wanted to do. Make the healer waste their time and get close. Could do another rolling fire. Hit both of them. I mean, you can see the range on those archers. It's not like it moving back one square is going to help affect much. Like I said, that's actually a relatively pretty effect. It's way prettier than the PS1 version. How much damage does Rolling Fire do anyway? Enough. Nohar is just going to sit and look pretty. Alright. Oh, you're actually going after Clive. Okay. I don't care. You actually can reach? Huh. I should have paid more attention. That might be a problem. Yeah, Krog might be eating it this turn. He's going to be at one, isn't he? Really? Really, game? <sighs> the Grenadiers. Oh, yeah, are you dead? No, you're not. Okay. Neither's Clive, but that's fine. I don't care about Clive. He's an NPC class. But that means restart from the previous turn. <laughs> complicated battle's complicated. It's been a while since we've had a complicated battle to speak of. And I'm doing a lot of experimenting. That doesn't help things. Okay. Well, I mean, this part is still obvious. Especially with... Uh, Dolan needing to level up. Hux moving over to here and casting Mystic Shield on himself still makes perfect sense. Guess I'm wearing a Dungeon and Cat shirt. The kitty with a battle axe. Good bowl. Chain mail. Or scale mail, actually. Okay. Honestly, paralyzing that one does make a lot of sense too, but that's not going to be enough.
Frog, you're going to move back to here. I have no healing items on anyone other than Sarah. Yeah. And Herb heals as much as a healing spell. Not worth spellbinding. Die. What is it, boo? And then Zohar is going to move up here. And Roman fire them. Give them a distraction. Oh. Yeah, Roman fire gets used for a good chunk of the game if I'm. Although, admittedly, there's going to be a spell that I don't know about. But for me, usually, Roman Fire gets used for a good chunk of the game. Another Roman Fire will kill them. Um, Zohar can take two arrow hits, or grenade hits, I should say. And Diego just moved down. Alright, this should go a little better. Oh, really? That was one turn! Well, that might cause Zohar to die. Oh, good. They're idiots. Yes, suicide against Ash. Rather, you didn't, because that's the highest XP character in the board right now. Ash can still heal himself, and he won't die from this. I've got two healers there, I'm fine. You can't reach yet. You can heal, but that's expected. Why is your healing better than mine? Ah, uh, Zoot's moving. That's not good. Nice camera angle there, game. Okay, this might not be a great position either. Run cartridge ram time. Okay. It's going to be phase shift time, but I need... ...you to move there. Ash, you're going to move up one. And fairy light yourself. We'll see if that was a good idea or a bad idea. I might have needed to move up one more square. That's the one thing I'm not sure about. Healing. Yep, Ash again. Oh! I did need to move up one more. Let me just reload now. One moment. Oop. Okay. Oh, let's continue here first, with the obvious move first. You're dead. Oh wait! That was not what I should have done. Derp. Just dunned on me. Let's try this once more. Nope, not beginning. Bukiti was distracting me. Here, you can be distracted with Bukiti too. From backup ram. Right, Boo? Right. Meow. She doesn't like staying on camera, does she? You can actually so sort of see her on my sleeve where I'm currently at. No, what makes the most sense? This. Because then I can hit Zoot with it. First time I've been able to actually pull that off. Now kill. Uh, 
the camera is kind of precariously balanced. Because she refuses to be at a reasonable angle. There. And you can see her glory. Okay. Got that done. We're going to regular heal Clive in order to gain more XP. And I'd prefer to not have anyone die. Diego almost certainly can't reach anything this turn either. Because he archers are slow. Okay. Where can Grog actually move to? Grog can move up to here, so that is where I'm moving him. Which means you are moving here and phase shifting all y'all. All y'all. Phase shift. Phase shift over. Zoot's nearly dead already. Is the objective kill everything or kill Zoot? Um, Buki is moved out of the way again. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Destruction of enemies, okay. I mean, it's just a gold coin. It's not that big of a deal, but I still want it. Um... Okay. Yes, that trick does work. Very light yourself. I think this is going to work out. It's going to be tough. Could potentially take out that Centurion. But then Sarah's going to be targeted by oh so many things. That's actually better than Grog being targeted. Oh crap, Sarah needed to heal Ash. Oh well, we'll find out if that was a good idea or not. Probably not. Yep, they're all going after Ash. I don't think Ash is going to survive, and I'm going to have to reload. Yeah, because of the Warlock. Because a uh, rainbow is being vomited in my general direction, and now Zoot can kill me. Assuming Zoot can reach. I mean, he should be able to reach, but there's always... Th Holy crap, that was a full heal. What the hell? Oh, and you're attacking Sarah? Yeah, he still has the same goofy animation. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that actually worked out in my favor, so... Sure, game. Welp. Okay. Ash, you're nearly dead. Diego, can you... Oh, before I do anything... Internal ram. Can you actually reach... Yeah, you can definitely reach him. Yeah, I swear these look like bug people. You're dead. I'm not gonna end up getting that treasure chest, but it's just an elixir. That's not not a Final Fantasy elixir. That's not exactly that big of a deal. There. Bucks. Has heal Clive up all the way? Wish I could reach anyone else, but... I don't think it's fair that their healing heals full and my healing heals garbage. 
Okay. I've got two goobers to deal with. The Empire Mage can do a decently large chunk of damage. Zoot can deal even more. The Empire Mage cannot be reached by anyone. So let's take care of Zoot. Old Zooty baby. I have a lot of support, so I'm hoping this helps. Damn, that was a lot of damage. Really use a healing plus over on the side, but apparently not. Actually. It doesn't do that much damage to the others, but it definitely does enough to kill Zoot. So, warning, phase shift. Told you you'd be seeing this spell a lot. Phase shift over. Yep, Zoot's gone. Apparently, that... He's a Pokemon. All right, Ash, you are moving the hell back and healing yourself. You're done for this combat. It's fine. You did a good job. We're okay. Sarah, you are going to move. I can move one more further away, so I am and heal Grog. That way, Grog can survive the hit. Sarah might not have been able to. Probably could, but not guaranteed. And we should be good at this point, because I'm pretty sure the Deacon's gonna heal themselves. Actually, how much MP do you have left? In hell, your healing spell only costs three. What? What the hell, game? Just what the hell. I think I've got this, though. The only thing I don't have is that on the spot. Yep, you're going after Grog, as I expected. I may end up just 50 damage. And you're going to heal yourself in a really dumb spot. 50 damage. That was a lot more damage than what Ash took. Yep, you're going to attack the Deacon. Blocked. I've never seen the Deacon attack. Neat. Okay, you've got to die. Just... You have to. I don't know if I can reach from that range. Oh, before I do anything. Dave. Archer Dram. Yes. I don't know if I can reach. Nope. That means Zohar has to kill him. Zohar does less damage than normal, so... Frog, you're just gonna run back here. Wait, wait, do you even have enough MP left to do any more? You have 10 MP. You can do this two more times. And I am out of MP. Um, I will go ahead and use... What the hell does the Unicorn Head do? It looks like rolling fire. Let's see what it does. No. Rainbow pulse. That didn't really do much of anything in damage, so it was totally not worth doing. So let me reload from Cartridge Ram. One moment. I'm doing a lot of experimenting. That's all. Gotta be. Ooh, I have multiple messages. One moment. All right, nothing important. Okay. So, Rog. Your range on that spell is four. Two, three, or five. Freaking hell, it's five range? Your movement is very limited, though. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can move Grog completely out of the way.
Yeah. Might as well. I can get that next turn. Oh yeah, I could have actually healed with Huxley, couldn't I? His healing plus actually has a decently long range. Oh, not that big of a deal. Everybody over here is healed, other than Clive by an insignificant amount. Just shield yourself. Enough level. Very light yourself, because you might as well. So, shoving Ash in a corner is a time-honored tradition. Damn it! Oh, I've got to remove my hotkey for save state load. Oh, this might be bad. Undo load state. Okay, we're just out of music. That's fine. We're just going to go without music for a little bit. I need to make another save in order for it to come back. Sarah, I'm going to move up and heal yourself. Weird, did not hear any music at all. It's because, so the reason why I have so many glitches on my save states, load states, is because <clears throat> the Saturn has a bunch of CPUs. Like, it's not like the PlayStation where there's one CPU, maybe two if you counted the audio system. Saturn, I think, has three base CPUs, a GPU, and a sound and two sound CPUs, I want to say. I don't remember for sure. I think there's a comeback. Yep, you're gonna hit Sarah because Sarah's the weakest person that you can hit. But does Sarah take 50? Sarah takes 45. But nothing else is in range to attack Sarah. So. Yep, Clive's gonna attack the healer again. You don't get to kill Steel Clive. Nope. Healing plus Sarah. Which should. Let's see if it heals any more. I think it does. Yeah. But also give gobs of XP because of the level differential. Remember when I mentioned how this works before? Sarah's three levels or two levels higher than Huxley. So that was nearly a full level up on its own. Next thing we're going to do get this treasure chest. Gimme. Yes, using your bow to get the stupid elixir. Ah, cure potion. Sorry, I forgot they renamed it in the Saturn version. Then you're going to search here, get our bag of gold, and ask this deacon a question. Uh, who's higher level? They are the same level. I just want to I just want to. And we're done! No deaths. With lots of reloads, though. And Zoopgog has been defeated. For the last time. We killed him. We heard his scream of Gog! <laughs> So he's finally achieved being the Pokemon that we all knew he was. And he's dead. We don't see him again. Commander. Five. Well met. Ash! 
beyond er, Ash, beyond hope. But where have you been these past three miserable years? Three years? We've only been gone for a day. What are you talking about? Uh, well, the truth is that we're lucky to have come this close. We might have been easily off by 20 years or more. Can't be true. Let's go back to the village and talk it out. Right. That's what happened while we were gone? So, do you remember the newspaper article that came up during the intro to Chapter 3? That actually was the summary for the past three years. We just weren't told about it. If you were wondering why it seemed a little weird that, you know, how did so much happen over the course of just such a short period of time? That's because it's been three years. Many good people want to resist Emperor Hell, but all of their leaders have been either executed or exiled. Only we could bring everyone under the same banner. Well, let's do it! We'll set off some fireworks that'll rouse resistance from sleep. Remember what I said about this being a giant analogy for the French Revolution. What was the thing that set off the French Revolution? Pop quiz. Fireworks, huh? What's the plan? We'll storm the Imperial Prison. That's right, we're storming the Bastille. Told you. This is a giant reference to the French Revolution. And the references will get more obvious when you start seeing the names of some people coming up. <laughs> the one they brag is impenetrable. Hmm. Would be a great victory for the rebels. That's where they hold the political prisoners. If we can free them, we might be able to actually organize. Also, why is Diego looking like from this angle he's holding a sword? I know it's just his bow, but come on. Clint, Eel, and I and Eamon are being held there too. Perfect. Two birds with one stone. Hmm, I think we should try it. I'll lead the actual troops. I'll lead the troops during the actual attack. Clive, I want you to start trying to galvanize the resistance. Note the shift here. Clive was Ash's commander. Obviously, the Ashtarian security forces don't exist any- or the domestic security forces of Ashtaria don't exist anymore, because the Republic of Ashtaria doesn't exist. This is the Holy Asha dynasty. Or, Holy Empire- I don't remember the full name now, but, um... Note that there wasn't a sequence of, I don't know if I can do it, or anything like that. Now, that doesn't mean Ash doesn't have doubts, just that he's decisive. He is the type of person that will step up and go, you need a leader, I am that leader today. I understand. <laughs> things are just about starting to get... Uh, things are just starting to get interesting. <laughs> I don't know what this is about. Ooh, I'm clipping on audio, I just noticed. Sorry for speaking too loud. Housemate's music is super loud. Luckily, it looks like it's being cut out of the this. Anyway, we're in Testa Village. Chuck Testa, that is. Let's go to the shop. Hopefully, they actually have things now. Welcome. What can I do for you? No, they don't. We can buy magic stones now. It's the less crappy version of magic oil. Wait, look. Magic oil restores 4 MP. That's two healing spells. So, I guess it's better than regular herb. High herb. Restores many HP versus some HP. Um, we're going to probably start replacing things with high herbs. Because regular herbs are not useful anymore. But they don't have anything for us. So I'm going to go ahead and save and stop it here. Hey look, we're almost back to an hour length again. Unfortunately, there's, I mean, there was a large gap and I couldn't do anything. There was no save point in between. You saw it. 
I literally stopped recording, started recording. So, unfortunately, that means that we will not have a save for Chapter 3 Scenario 2. By the way, um, I do have all of these saves. If anybody wants a copy of it, let me know. I intend to keep them forever, of course, but... I don't know if anybody wants them, so I haven't bothered uploading them or putting them anywhere. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll talk to you later, Internet. Bye.